Breaking news, Irma's destruction across the Carolinas, the storms, powerful winds and heavy rain creating dangerous conditions all over our viewing area. Remarkable images into the newsroom in the past five minutes, a giant tree falling on someone's home. It's just one of several fallen trees in our area. A lot happening tonight. Thank you for sticking with us. I'm Fred Shropshire and I'm Sarah French. We know a lot of you are worried about your family safety tonight, so we're dedicating this entire newscast to Irma coverage so we can keep you and your family safe and informed. <laughs> So there you see it, the biggest issue tonight, trees falling. Crews are working throughout the night trying to clear those roads and get everything ready for the morning commute. On the coast, Irma dropping heavy rain. Take a look at this new video. Right now, floodwaters still covering cars in Charleston, a big problem for our friends on the coast. And so far in South Carolina, one death blamed on the storm. Right now, thousands of power outages all over the Charlotte area. The storm's also causing major changes to school start times. Governor Roy Cooper urging everyone to stay on their toes tonight. We still want to make sure that any threat has passed our state, though, before we uh, let people go. Chief Meteorologist Brad Panovich joining us from the First Warn Storm Center with the very latest on this, Brad. Yeah, the latest with Irma, it has actually been weakening a little bit this evening, is now a tropical depression. That means the winds have dropped 10 more miles per hour in the center, which is key because the strongest winds are actually being felt well, well off to the north and east. Here's the forecast track. Winds are down to 135 miles an hour. It'll still be a depression tomorrow morning, and it'll weaken to a remnant low on Tuesday evening into Wednesday morning as it moves through western parts of Tennessee. But I don't have to tell you there's plenty of wind on the east side of this system as it continues to weaken near the center. The strongest winds are in these rain bands which are wrapping around the northeast side. They start way out in the Atlantic and they come and they wrap around. So this big area in yellow, that's where we're seeing wind gusts between 30 and 40 miles per hour. And at times we've seen a couple gusts up to 50 miles per hour and this band is going to continue to rotate in and kind of pivot through the Charlotte area through the overnight hours, which will help produce heavy rain and still some gusty winds. You see the band of heavy rain. There are breaks in between them, but right now look at this band of heavy rain, which extends from about Concord all the way over to northern Mecklenburg County and back into Gaston County. That has wind gust in it about 40 to 45 miles per hour, and there's a couple more of these bands moving up from the Midlands of South Carolina. So far, the winds have been progressively getting higher and higher as we've gone through the evening hours. In the last several hours, we've seen a couple gusts up around 40 to 45 miles per hour at the airport, and as we go through the overnight hours, I expect these wind gusts will stay around 40 miles per hour through about two or three in the morning and then slowly taper off as we go through the morning commute. But because the ground is wet and the winds are still high, trees coming down could still be an issue right through that morning commute. Coming up, we're going to talk about what the weather's going to look like going into the weekend. And we've got another hurricane out there that we've got to keep an eye on. I'll, t I'll have the latest track on Jose coming up in just a few minutes, Sarah. Okay, thanks, Brad. We'll check in with you in just a little bit. Parents, listen to this. Our area's largest school district delaying classes tomorrow. Charlotte Mecklenburg School starting two hours late. Rock Hill School's also on a two hour delay. Gaston County Schools opening two hours late, and so are Union County Schools. We have the full list scrolling at the bottom of the screen and on our website, WCNC.com.